What's up everyone? My name is Lucas. Welcome back to another car review of mine. Today I've got a very special car review for you guys. I bring you a 1941 Lincoln Continental. Big thanks and shout out to my uncle who this vehicle belongs to for letting me film it. For today's video I'm out here in Las Vegas, Nevada in the US. I will show you around the interior and exterior and I will show you the engine. Unfortunately, I am not going to be able to start it up because this car has a dead battery in it and has been sitting in this garage for about 4 or 5 years. But still, let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and look around the exterior. It's a green exterior. I believe it's called Rooster Green Dark. Not exactly sure. Got some chrome trim down below. Got your chrome wheels. White wall tires. It says Lincoln V12 on the wheels. You got chrome door handles, which are actually buttons. Down below that, you got your keyhole. You got a cover over the rear wheel. You have a spare wheel on the back. Overall, it's just a very nice looking car. Alright, now let me go ahead and show you guys what lies underneath the hood. So let's go ahead and pop that. Actually before I do, let me show you guys the mileage. Check that out. It only has 85,000 miles on the clock. Very low. Anyways, let's pop the hood. Here's your hood release. It says hood on it. Opening it up. Underneath the hood of this Continental lies Lincoln's Lincoln Zephyr. 4.8 liter or 292 cubic inch V12, which produces 120 horsepower at 3500 RPM and 220 pound feet of torque at 2000 RPM. Couldn't actually find an exact 0 to 60 time on this car, nor could I find a top speed. But fuel economy is not strong with this V12, as it's estimated to get an average of around 7 miles to the gallon. So, very non-fuel efficient. This particular Continental also has a 3-speed manual transmission, or 3 on the tree. Basically how it works is, towards you and down is reverse, towards you and up is first gear, away from you and up is second gear, and then away from you and down is third gear. Your parking brake is down below, to the left of the driver's footwell, right underneath the hood release. Alright, now let's go ahead and check out the interior. On the interior of the 41 Continental, as you can see this one has a green leather interior in really good shape for its age. On the door panel, you got some very nice leather padding. The button for your interior door handle. Also got manual windows, as well as manual side vents, which is really cool. And over here, got your headlights. Not exactly sure what these three switches do. Over here is the shifter for your three-speed manual transmission. Right there is your ignition. The way you would start it is a two-step process. You'd insert the key in the ignition, turn the power on, and you've got your start button to the left of the steering column. And since it's a manual, put on the clutch, then you would press the start button. Obviously we can't do that since it has a dead battery, but that's not too much of a deal. Steering wheel is a three-spoke design steering wheel. Got your horn in the center. On the gauge cluster, you've got your fuel gauge, engine temperature gauge, your oil pressure gauge as well as amps gauge, all that stuff. Got your speedo on the right with your odometer and trip meter. Next to the ignition, you've got three switches. Got your throttle switch. Got a cigarette lighter. Got an AM radio in this vehicle. Right over here. Got an analog clock, and obviously since the battery's dead, it doesn't work. And down below that, this little handle actually opens up a flap, which then becomes your air conditioning vent, which is super cool. Got a wood grain dashboard, as well as your glove box right over here. And then right over here is a little sign which uh, my uncle and aunt got from a restaurant. As you can see, it actually says 41 on it, 
which completely fits, because this vehicle is a 1941. That's pretty much it for up front, so uh, let's go ahead and check out the back seat. Obviously, since it's a two-door car, you have to fold the seats forward, and they fold forward and in, giving you easier access to them. Now, the front seat is in its furthest back position, and there is plenty of room back here. Taller individuals could sit back here. You got some manual vents for the rear as well, as well as leather padded armrests and cigarette lighters. Yes, this was back in the days when kids could smoke as well. Anyways, that's it for the back seat. Let's go ahead and check out trunk space. So coming around to the trunk, just undo these two latches. And you need two hands to open the trunk and then get the struts to catch. It's a pretty decently sized trunk. Obviously, this thing isn't known for true practicality, but still reasonably spacious. Alright, let's go ahead and close it up. It's a reverse procedure, just lower it down and lock the latches in place. Alright. That's going to conclude the tour on the 1941 Lincoln Continental. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like or a comment. Subscribe today if you haven't. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.